Uh, I think it's one of the best kept uh, secrets uh, that uh, the city has. And I think the school really needs to think about uh, getting its story out there because it really is doing a lot of wonderful, extraordinary things in the educational arena. We had talked off camera about how the president is uh, putting emphasis on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and uh, mathematics uh, in terms of uh, reorienting the educational system in the United States. And you guys are doing that. You're doing a very extraordinary job in that regard. Uh, so I think it's important to continue to bring people here to show them what, what you're doing. And uh, as I indicated, I think that uh, CMSA really is really part of the vanguard of where the educational system has to go in order for the United States uh, to be competitive economically. Because the, the competitors are not really uh, within the United States, it's really going to be other countries like Germany and Korea and China and India, you know, who are turning out lots of uh, graduates in engineering and the hardcore sciences and mathematics. And that's where the job growth is going to be, is going to be the technologically driven industries. And so if we don't have uh, graduates in this country that can go into those industries, then our economy is going to atrophy and shrink uh, or we'll have to bring in people from other countries in order to fulfill those kinds of uh, needs that our current educational system doesn't do. We have a very good, the United States has a very good um, graduate to college and graduate school system. But in terms of our, our elementary and secondary uh, school systems, uh, uh, we are lacking because we have, over the years, we have ignored uh, the components of science, technology, engineering, math, or we've done a very, very poor job. And so uh, I think that what the CMSA is doing is, is very, very important to serve as sort of a, as a model for uh, other schools and other uh, systems to sort of reorient the system back to those uh, basic skill sets in math and science, but also liberal arts to have a well-rounded education. Well, I, I like the, there seems to be a strong uh, work ethic. And uh, one of the things that, uh, that because I think, I think the school gets the, you know, the STEM, the science, technology, engineering, and math, they get the importance of that. But one of the other things that uh, in order to be successful, you know, one has to be able to communicate. And if you're going to be in any kind of organization where you're going to be working for a business or whether you're going to be working in government or you're going to be working in a not-for-profit sector, you're going to be in an organization where you're going to have to be able to communicate. And part of that is being able to write well and to uh, pre present well. And so, you know, one of the things that, you know, that I would encourage the, the school to also to pay attention to is to make sure that the students have an opportunity to develop those speaking skills where there's interviewing skills, as we're doing right now, where there's getting up before a class or an audience and having to present an idea or a concept and to be able to do it uh, in a way that uh, is simple, it's understandable, and, um, that, that, and is eloquent. Uh, also, just in terms of uh, communicating in writing, you know, one will have to do memos and letters and articles and even in emails uh, so it has to have the, the the writing expression so you know if you're very good to say at chemistry or math but you don't write well you know you could be the the best mathematician in the world but if you can't communicate those concepts in writing when you're interacting with people whether it could be your colleagues it could be your boss it could be customers it could be clients uh, and it could be anybody. You, so you want to be able to also have the good basic skills in terms of vocabulary and punctuation and grammar. So uh, I can't emphasize enough that the communication skills are also very, very important, both the writing and both the, the presentation and the, and the, and the speaking.